Welcome to GemChem. Now today's video is on chemical thermodynamics part 13 video and here we are going to deal with entropy of mixing. Actually this term entropy of mixing comes when we mix many ideal gases in isothermal and isobaric condition. Now before starting already 12 videos are uploaded in channel you can watch it. I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video. And if you are new to GemChem do not forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Now let us start. Now first we need to understand that while mixing we are taking several constituents within a container. Suppose this is our container and we have different compartments and these compartments goes on. So this is A compartment, this is B compartment with the ideal gases named as A, B, C. These are ideal gases and you have to understand that this has a total volume of this goes on and has a total volume of V where V comes to be equal to as VA volume of gas A plus volume of gas B plus volume of gas C plus it goes on for the number of components and the temperature is at temperature T which is fixed because it is isothermal condition as well as isobaric that is this volume V will remain fixed. Now for each of these we have already seen that they have VA volume and number of moles of this gas present is Na and for this particular thing Cv is also there which is CVA. Similarly for the next component if we see it has a volume of VB, mole number is NB and the CV bar comma B is our value. Next we will see for C. So it will be VC, NC and CV bar C. So these are the parameters. Now we will see what is the entropy change throughout. So first we need to understand before mixing what is our entropy. So before mixing we can write it as S initial dash and each of the component has an entropy of S dash A plus S dash B plus S dash C and this continues. Similarly, if we take after mixing, when the mixing has already been completed among these gases, then entropy will be somewhat different. So it is S double dash final and it comes to be as S A double dash plus S B double dash plus S C double dash and this continues. Now, for ideal gas we know already derived in the previous video the value of ds. So here ds dash equals to n c v bar by t dt plus n r v d v. So for s dash we can write it like this. S dash is equals to N C V bar L N T for only S dash we are taking no D is being involved plus N R L N V plus S zero. This S zero is the initial point. S A dash will be equal to N A C V bar A ln T plus N A R ln V A plus S 0 A. Similarly for S B it will be N B C V bar B ln T plus N B R ln V B plus S0B. 
this is before mixing and this continues right and if we go for write it down as before mixing now if we go for after mixing then after mixing we can get these values s a dash dash equals n a c v a l n t this is the final temperature which is equal for both the cases plus n a r and now the volume has become the total volume which is v plus the initial which is all constant is 0 a for s b dash dash it comes to be as n b c v b bar l n t plus n b r l n v plus s b naught and these continues if we now calculate delta s mix what is the change so it must be s final which is given in this page minus s initial which we have derived in the previous page so it will be like this s a double dash plus s b double dash plus s c double dash this continues minus s a dash plus s b dash plus s c dash and this continues so what we get here is delta s mix is equals to n a r ln v minus ln v a plus n b r ln v minus ln v b plus this continues this can also be written as n a r ln v by v a plus n b r ln v by v b and goes on finally we can take out r and write it as if we take minus common then n a ln this v by v a term will be reversed v a by v plus n b ln v b by v and this goes on ultimately if you see here this term that is v a by v this gives us the mole fraction that is x a this gives us the mole fraction of b which is x b so this one becomes minus r n a ln x a plus n b ln x b next if we go for c n c ln x c and the continuation of the components goes on ultimately this can be properly written as delta s mix and since if you see here there is a summation there is continuous sum up so we can write it like this equals to minus r summation in i ln x i where i starts from 0 to infinity whatever you like you can add the limits so right now what we get is that delta s mix that is entropy of mixing which we were trying to find out is already obtained which comes to be as delta s mix equals to minus r summation of ni ln xi this delta s mix is always positive in nature suppose for each moles we are calculating for each moles we are calculating for each mole of mixture suppose we are taking one mole of mixture delta s mix will be written as delta s bar mix when one mole is considered and it is equals to delta s mix by n that is number of moles in total in total 
right and we can also write it like this delta s bar mix is equals to minus r and the inside portion which we have already obtained in a will be divided by n total ln x a plus n b by n total ln x b and this continues now what is this one that is n a by n total this also gives us the mole fraction of a this one also gives us the mole fraction of fraction of b so ultimately what we get is from here is minus r x b a ln x a plus x b ln x b plus this goes on and what we here can write is delta s bar mix that is for each mole the formula is equals to minus r summation of x i ln x i. So we got two formulas for entropy of mixing. One is when normal case number of moles is not known. So we can use this one. Another is that when one mole is taken we will use mole fraction instead of number of moles. So this was the entropy of mixing part. And in the next video, we will deal with the refrigerator part. So here is the checkpoint. Try to solve these questions. Take a screenshot. And if you have any doubts for these videos, you can comment. So this much for today. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment.